welcome to Balor Club. Making his way to the ring from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! One of the most incredible athletes to ever step foot in Monday Night Raw. Finn Balor, first ever Universal Champion. This man is an enigma with a profound skill set that we have never witnessed before. Former NXT champion, the first ever Universal Champion, Finn Balor, ladies and gentlemen, is for real. Guys, if you are looking for a billboard example of a superstar who has it, who has... Taken over by Sanity. And his opponent, accompanied by Alexander Wolf and Killian Dane, representing Sanity from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 232 pounds, Eric. The big bruiser from Ireland, the wily veteran leader, Eric Young, and the wild card from Germany, Alexander Wolf. Three dangerous, dangerous human beings. Three faces of madness. Three faces of disorder. There is nothing off limits when sanity's around. If their love wasn't apparent during that entrance, the WWE Universe is firmly behind Finn Balor. Oh man, this is gonna be great. Finn Balor is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, can you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight.
Corey, Finn Balor's shoulder injury has been well documented, suffering a torn labrum that put Finn out of action for seven months. Yeah, it did, and now it's a huge target for any of Finn's competition. Any game plan devised to go up against Balor should be centered around tripling his surgically repaired right shoulder. Recognizing the game plan Corey devised, it's easier said than done to even catch Finn for long enough to apply that pressure to the shoulder. I would agree with the both of you. Any superstar that has an injury in their past will always have a bullseye on it. But they know that, and it becomes their job to defend against those attacks. Flattens him with a clothesline. Finn Balor is a superstar dedicated to giving back where he came from. Finn, Becky Lynch, and Sheamus' success in WWE helped trigger a growth in wrestling in Ireland. He's starting to stumble here. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. Yeah, but he's got a very untraditional approach tonight, which includes spending a great deal of time outside the ring. That might help him in the long run. We'll see. You know, Byron, in talking about Finn Balor, you brought up Becky Lynch. She actually trained as Finn's student. Says she owes her life to him. Just another example of how influential Finn Balor is. Everywhere Finn's been, he's improved and left it a better place. Ireland, England, Japan, NXT, and he wants to do the same now in WWE. I got right to the gut! And there's the reversal from Finn Balor. And here we go, Finn Balor with the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Too soon. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Oh, here it comes. Driven down. Keep your eye on this one. Young is in position. Driving elbow. There it is. Eric Young better not waste this opportunity. Oh, I don't think he will. And Eric Young makes the cover. Just going for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on. Let's go. Oh, kick out. And Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Oh, no. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Young is in position! Ah, man, good night. That's what he was... We've got to cover. And you could put this singles match in the books. victory yeah big win for that young man and wait a minute what's he thinking now he's oh, thinking he's on. not finished he wants to stomp a hole in him boy this match is over 